Mathletics is a web-based software program designed to teach and reinforce math concepts in an engaging way for kindergarten to grade 12 students. Teachers can now assess, track, and facilitate learning with custom-designed curriculum and customized education plans to exactly match each individual child's current level of understanding. As well, Mathletics aligns with Canadian and provincial curriculums. Mathletics has undertaken a major new platform change that includes a sleek new look and feel, as well as many new features. In this video, we'll be showing teachers how to use the results icon, which includes viewing the automated mark book and how to assign tasks and homework to their students with the click of a button. Teachers log into the system using the sign-in location on the main page at mathletics.ca using the username and password supplied. This will bring them to the Teacher Center. Here you will see the various tools for teachers including the results icon. Click on the results icon and this brings you to the results homepage. With Mathletics, teachers can handle any number of classes and effectively manage different skill levels by breaking each class down into subgroups. You then assign one of the many curriculums available that is most appropriate for each group. Once set up, students progress through each group until they either catch up or surpass the class as a whole. One of the ways teachers easily manage such diverse skill levels inherent in most classes is using the class and group drop-down lists. Each class assigned to the teacher is included as well as any groups they may have set up in each class. Teachers then toggle through each class and group to assess the progress of each student. For easier identification, the curriculum is also listed for each class and group as well as each unit or strand within each curriculum. If you click on the unit title, this will list each concept activity within that unit as well as the student's marks for those activities. The goal of the students is to achieve mastery, or in other words, a mark of 85% or greater for all the concept activities within each unit. Most students will achieve this within three attempts. Teachers monitor this by reviewing the automated mark book which shows the progress of each student. On the unit page, marks from the final unit test are listed. The concept activity page, which is showing here, shows the marks achieved for each activity. Finally, if you click on the activity title, a grid will come up showing you the distribution of marks as well as those who have not completed that specific activity. To continue, we'll click the back button to get back to the activities page. For those achieving mastery, the mark will be blue. However, for those not achieving mastery, the marks will be red. If you place your cursor over the mark, a pop-up window will appear showing your student's name, mark, and number of attempts. However, should the student make three or more unsuccessful attempts at mastery, instead of a light-colored box, a red-colored box will appear. This will help teachers identify those students who are progressing on their own versus those who may need additional assistance with specific concepts. We'll now go back to the results page by clicking the back button so we can talk about assigning activities. To have the class and groups progress at the same level, you can assign tasks to all, some, or one student. Since Mathletics is available on any computer connected to the internet 24 hours a day, you can also assign these as homework to be completed after school. You assign the student up to 10 activities and these must be completed before they are able to partake in some of the more fun features of the program such as live mathletics, math games, videos, etc. There are a number of ways to assign tasks and homework. Upon review of the marks or students not completing a unit, you can assign it to a specific student by clicking on the appropriate cell. In this case, Jason has not completed the unit so we will assign it to him. To remove the task, you simply click on the cell again. If you click the unit title, the activity window comes up listing marks for each unit by each student. You can see Mickey did not achieve mastery here, so we will assign that task to do it again. 
If you click the triangle, a drop down menu appears to assign to all students below 85%, remove from all students, preview the activity, or launch the teacher guides. In this case, we will assign the activity to those with less than 85%, which includes those who have not completed the activity. Finally, you can view a recap of all the activities you assign by clicking on the Assigned Activities button. This will list them either by date or by student name in drop-down lists. I'm going to click the Back button to get back to the Results homepage so we can talk about the other features available there. There may be situations where you've assigned tasks but you want students to complete them later, such as homework assignments. Click the Off button to give them full access to Mathletics without being forced to do the assigned tasks first. Later, when you want the assignment done before getting full access again, you click the On button. The Update Results button is used when your students are currently working on Mathletics and you would like the latest update on their progress. Finally, if you wish to remove all unit and activity tasks, click on the Cancel All Tasks button. Classes and groups can help teachers to effectively manage multiple classes and the differentiation within each. The automatic markbook, one-click task and homework assignment, and easy identification of students struggling with specific concepts allows teachers to target exactly where to spend their time most effectively. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach us by email at customerservice at 3plearning.ca or if you reside in Canada, call us toll free at 1-877-467-6851. Finally, for more information, please go to our website at www.mathletics.ca.